Hi, this is Rob Leo, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Nearpod over multiple sessions when you're sharing a live lesson with students. Let me log into my account. I'm here at nearpod.com. I'm going to log in with my Google account. And I've already got some lessons prepared here. You can see I've got a series of, uh, of lessons already set up. This is not going to be a how to use Nearpod lesson, but rather how to continue a live Nearpod session. So let's say I want to do a live session with my students. Let me cancel that and pick a different one. I'm basically going to share a code and a link with my students. So in Google Classroom, I would select this option if I want to share this with my students and deliver it via Google Classroom. And I can create an assignment out of this. And in the instructions, I'm just going to put the code in. I think the link might take me there anyway. It looks like the link is uh, included, the pin rather is included in the link itself. So there's really no need to, to also copy the pin when you share this link. It'll bring your students to this particular presentation. So let me assign that to my students. It's posted to my class, just like any other assignment. You can see what it looks like. If I go to my classwork page, there's the Nearpod lesson. And when I launch it, it should take me to that specific spot where as a student, I would want to fill in my name. So I'm going to join with this code, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm on as a student. Actually, I'm on as a teacher because that's what I'm logged into, but you get the idea. Let's say I want to end this lesson. Normally, if you're all done, you would click the little triangle and you would end the session. I don't want to end the session. Let's say I didn't finish the session. This is 19 slides long. As I proceed through each slide, I can uh, have some quiz questions and so forth. Uh, but let's say we didn't get to everything in the uh, time slot that I had allotted. Um, what you can do is go back and it says, do you want to leave this session? You can resume it later. So let me say yes. So in effect, the session is ended, but it's not really over. Um, you can continue it. And notice when you go back to live participation, you will have the option. This was launched on October 13th at 10.21 a.m. with this particular code. And I have two weeks to, um, to continue this lesson from where I left off. So this lesson has more than one active session. Do you want to launch a new one or resume any of these active sessions? If I select this one, I can resume it and it will pick things up so I can finish the lesson with my students on another day. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.